Oh. It's baby making time. What's up everyone? I'm Kelsey and I thought it would be funny if I tried the 100 infant challenge. It's a challenge in The Sims 4 where you have a one matriarch and the goal is to have 100 infants all in one lifetime. It's basically the 100 baby challenge with some loosey goosey adjustments in order to make this a speed run. Last episode, we finally have our first teen in the house. Eh, eh. I'm really excited to have a teen in the house to help pick up some slack, but we also want to make sure that Cecilia still has a good remainder of her childhood. It feels loved and supported by the Impeachment Schmay family. So we are going to hopefully focus a little bit on Cecilia today. I'm also really interested in having your guys' Sims become a part of my game so that I can seduce them. So if you want to submit a sim, make sure to upload those to the gallery using the hashtag, hashtag Kelsey 100 infant. If you aren't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell. It is my dream to hit 900,000 subscribers. It does feel so far away, but you guys are absolutely crushing with subscribing lately. So thank you so, so much. So you might think that this house looks a little different than it did last time and you would be correct because I have brought it upon myself to give the house a bit of a makeover a bit of an update it's not you know as beautiful as I would normally make a sims house given all the money and resources but I think we did a pretty good job upgrading so that it'll be more functional and of course we always have the yellow chairs which a lot of you request we also have the nicest bed money can buy outside we have this lovely tent a lot of you were requesting someone suggested using this to serve food I actually think I think that's pretty much brilliant. And we will be doing that for the foreseeable future instead of cooking if we need to. I've changed it into a four bedroom-ish. So we have the kids and teens in one room, toddlers in another, infants in this room, and Chelsea and future babies will be here. I think it functions pretty well. So let's do a little roll call. We got Chelsea, her needs are fine. We got Cecilia, looking amazing. We got Belle, also looking good. Bo, looking good. Chloe, wow, everybody's needs are fine. We're gonna potty train our rose here. Oh my gosh, they're all like just crushing it, doing a great job. Let's work on your thinking skills. Chelsea is, of course, pregnant as usual. All the kids are having fun. They're all doing their homework at the table while Chelsea maybe helps them. Cecilia's chatting with her siblings. This is so cute. Rosalie, did you get any needs met? Not exactly, but Chelsea, why don't you help your child with some homework here? Oh, there's food all over the place. I'm like, why are all my Sims saying it's so gross in this house? And then I realized it's Rosalie, which a lot of you guys also said we can clean up toddlers in the sink. So we'll definitely be doing that instead of these big baths. Excuse me, kids. Do not play in the trash. Kids, stop that. Chelsea also still has more birth certificates to put up. So that's always great. I'm just going to put them all over the house. It's going to be chaos and I love it. How are you feeling, Rosalie? She's just chilling. She wants to sing a song to her sister because she loves singing. It's so cute. Elsie is sad because she's in the rain, but she's going to go nap in the playhouse. Okay. Good luck with you, Elsie. I don't know why you decided to sleep outside in the rain, but I'll let it happen. Rosalie does want to sing to her sister, but it seems like she got a bath. Oh my God. There's like a party in the bathroom with the kids here, but we're going to clean up Rosalie really quick. Cecilia finished her homework. Good job, Cecilia. There's a little bit too many people at the sink. Makes me kind of want to buy another sink. Should I buy another sink? I swore I wouldn't get a sink. So that people would stop washing their dishes in here. But it's fine. Just so that I can bathe Sims in the sink when other people are using the bathroom. There we go. The stink be gone. All right, Rosalie, why don't you go into the bedroom, kick out one of your siblings. Chelsea also is like, one of her requirements is to read to a child. I think I messed up last time where I was trying to read to a toddler instead of a child. So let's get a kid's book and read to child. We'll read to Belle. Come here, Belle. I'm gonna read to you since you seem like you're not doing anything. So you can have the couch and we're gonna read a nice little story that helps with Chelsea's requirement for big happy family so she could get some more satisfaction points. We're vibing. Cecilia's doing her homework. Belle is listening to this wonderful story. Bo is wanting an activity table. Oh, I want you to have everything you hope and dream of. Let me find an activity table for you, sweetheart. I didn't buy these things ahead of time because I figured I would figure them out like kid to kid, which would be really cute. So we're gonna do that. You know what? Right there, Bo. That works. She finished reading for her first hour. Fabulous. Good job, Chels. Okay, is there another kid that could be interested in that? Bo's already busy. And Madeline's just chatting with big sister Cecilia, you know, working on her social skill because she's just a, such a social butterfly. All right, Chloe, why don't you sit on the couch here? We're gonna read you a 
book. All right, it's about bedtime, everyone. Cecilia's getting some food. Good for you, Cecilia. Belle is using the bathroom. Good for you, Belle. Bo is drawing. Good job, Bo. He does want to be a level four. Oh, but he made it already. Good job, Bo. Mom's reading, hanging out with Cecilia as well. And Elsie is sad. Elsie, why don't you go to bed? Chelsea is exhausted, so why don't you go to sleep, Chelsea? Okay, our kids need to start headed to bed as well. Chloe, why don't you go to bed? Madeline's in bed. I guess Bo might want to sleep in mom's room tonight. I don't know. All the kids seem to be already hitting the hay here. Elsie's getting potty trained. Rosalie is sad. Why are you so sad? She had a nightmare. Oh, sweetie. It's okay. She's going to go wake up her sister, Belle. All right, Belle will comfort you. And really good job, Cecilia, teaching sweet baby Angel to use the toilet. I love this for you. Bo is having a snack. And then let's watch Rosalie as she wakes up her sister. She's like, Belle, I am upset. I had a nightmare and Belle's waking up. Oh, let's hug her, brighten her day, give her a little family kiss. We're trying to cheer her up, make her feel better, tell her goofy stories. Can we put her back to sleep? No, we can sit with her though. Oh, they're giving lots of hugs. Oh my goodness, so sweet. Give her comfort, that'd be good. I love that they're all kind of separated by age. Oh, Rosalie and Belle had a sentiment for Belle supporting Rosalie. Okay, Rosalie, why don't you go to sleep? Belle's gonna, I guess, hang out with her sister who's on the computer, because she's up. And look at my three baby angels. <gasps> Everybody's going to sleep. This is all working so well, guys. It's night and day. Cecilia's getting some food. She's staying up late because she's a teen. The fact that so many kids can take care of themselves now, I feel finally I can start having kids again. I can breathe, you know? All my kids are still asleep. What? What is this? Ooh, he's doing really good job working on his project. I think it's the castle one, which is very cute. Ooh, and look who's woken up. It's Madeline. She wants to grab some food. Food. Why don't you eat some taquitos, Madeline? Mom's also up needing some food. Everybody's kind of waking up slowly but surely. All my kids taking care of their needs. I don't even need to worry about them all. This is amazing. We're even having quality time at the dinner table together. How you doing, Belle? She's like, I'm good. I just want to have fun. Oh, Belle says, I got a present that I think is dumb. I want to trade it with a friend or give it back. Chelsea would be like, you know what? That present was for you. Let's be grateful. And let's see. Little Madeline, why don't you assist him with his project? That might be nice. Oh, we got interrupted by kids. Someone said eating dirt was okay, but someone else said eating dirt will make you die. Is it okay to eat dirt? Uh, eating dirt is really unhealthy. Let's not do that, okay? Okay, Chelsea's finishing up her food. Let's potty train Ellie. Dude, do not throw that away. Put that down. Please, like, I am trying to put it down. I will put it down over here. Okay, we're taking care of kids and they finished it. Good job. Let's put that in your inventory. Tori bow. Maybe you'll age up a bit more. Why don't you take a little sleep before school today? It is a Tuesday, so you should be going to school in a couple hours. Chloe's feeling good. Madeline's good. Ellie's doing great. Learning some skills. Okay, all my kids are doing great. Let's just serve all, and then we can leave our child on the potty there. Now that we have this, we can move all these foods into this. It was 250 simoleons, so it's not quite as cheap as like the other foods that we normally do, but we can fit it all in there. And look at that. We didn't even have to cook. That's pretty impressive. Honestly, that is quite the hack. I wish I'd had that in the first couple episodes for sure. Ellie needs a bath. So why don't you wait for mom and she will give you a nice little sink bath. Okay, Ellie? Well, everybody goes alone to school. Belle's going to school. Bo, get out of bed. It's time for school. Chloe's going to school. And Madeline's going to school. Everybody's going to school. Okay, everybody. Good luck at school. Get good grades. Listen to your teacher. Fabulous. All right, all my kids are at school. We are giving a bath to Ellie. Elsie is really hungry, but she got some cookies. Wow, I'm so glad that you got almond macarons. Fabulous. Rosalie is doing well. Also needs some food, is also gonna get probably cookies. That's the one problem, is that we could accidentally get cookies. But now we just have three Todds to deal with, which used to be a problem, but now feels like the easiest thing in the world. Okay, Todds, let's start kind of trying to age you up. You need to finish movement, imagination, and potty, but your two is on all of them, so that's fabulous. For imagination, though, I hear really good things about playing in here. So let's have you play in there. Elsie, what 
about you? You are leveled up in level two in movement. You have a three imagination. You need three in thinking and you need potty as well. Rosalie needs some fun and food. Oh, Ellie has been fine in accordance with the water conservation action plan. Justice for Ellie. She's not using any more water than anyone else. Go take a shower, Chelsea. Her needs are all up, which is just impressive, honestly. The pink bib. Belle is sitting next to a new kid at lunch when she spies something pink in his lunch bag. Is that a bib? The kid smiles nervously and claims that it got his baby sister's lunch again. But then the bib falls out and where everyone else can see. Oh, she's gonna ignore it. Belle's gonna be like, eh, it's fine. Lunch is almost over when the glass bully notices the bib on the floor. He can't wait to find the little baby who dropped it, but the new kid says nothing and neither does Belle, who may have just made a new friend. <gasps> Belle made a friend? Look at you, Belle! Aww. Okay, kids, you need potty, so why don't you go potty? Rosalie, you need some fun, and you're behind on pretty much everything, so why don't you work on some thinking? And Ellie, your imagination is level three. Okay, we need you to level up your thinking, but you're eating right now. And Chelsea's getting to watch TV. What? She never has time to do this kind of stuff. Why don't you write a story, Chelsea, while you're just chilling then? We got mail in the mailbox. I don't know what it is. Chelsea, why don't you get your mail at some point? Elsie's just chilling, learning movement. But you reached level three, good job. Okay, you need to finish up imagination. So why don't you go play make-believe in the backyard? Go, girl, go. A lot of you swear by this tent. We only need you up to level three on three things. There we go. Woohoo! Good job, imagination. All right, so now we just need potty and we will be good to go. So why don't you go potty a couple times? And you two, we're just banging out these needs right now. And Rosalie is sad because she needs some attention from mom. So mom, why don't you take care of Rosalie? Let's give her a bubble bath. And then we'll maybe teach her some things so that she learns some of these skills a little quicker. All right, Chels, we didn't quite get a book written, but it's better than it's been before. Fabulous work, kids. I'm so proud of all of you. All right, getting your bath. You're super happy. She's wearing her little glasses in the bath, which is very cute. So actually, Elsie is almost there with her skills. She just needs to level up potty. And oh my God, Cecilia is an A student. And Chloe's a B student. Belle is an A student and Bo is an A student. Okay, so Belle and Bo can become teens and Cecilia is enraged, but she is an adult now. So she can age up as well. And Chloe and Madeline are these students. This is fantastic. All right, so let's get this cake out and get the party started. Ooh, ooh. Come on, Belle, let's blow out some candles. Let's age up some teens. Okay, Belle aged up. Oh, she's mean. Belle, she's got the butt on the top of her head and she's mean. Belle's reminding me of our sweet baby Olive. She loves the outdoors. And take a number one through 16. Five. All right, take a number one through four, three. So she wants to be a super parent. Belle is mean, but she loves kids and she wants to be a really good parent. Oh, congratulations, Belle. I love the purple lip. And then Bo, it's all your turn as well. Oh my God, all my kids are becoming teens. Okay, our little rain cloud is outgoing. Uh, pick a number one through 15. Eight, eight is knowledge. Pick a number one through seven. It's seven, so he wants to be an archeology span scholar. That is fun. And he also, got a bonus trait of high self-esteem. That's okay, sweetie. I know that you broke whatever it is, but that's okay. You need some fun, you go watch some TV, girl, okay? Just relax, channel surf. All right, we got some teens in the house, some new teens. So it's all good. We will probably start having to move some kids out of the house, but not quite yet. You know, we can have everybody kind of hang out. Oh my gosh, the drama, Cecilia, we get it. And Elsie's hungry. Okay, but she's taking care of that right now. Madeline is good. Okay, everybody, if you are good, why don't you do your homework? Oh, she's asking about a balanced meal and she wants to know if dirt is okay to eat. You know, I think your sister also asked about dirt. I'm gonna tell you the same thing I told her. It's unhealthy, don't do it. And this is Bo. Bo kind of looks like my Sims gave him a lot of like older custom content. So I'm going to give him a little bit of a makeover. So that way Bo is not looking like a grandpa because he is like a young teen. <laughs> Make him look a little 
little younger and then we need some like teen looking clothes. And I don't like the hair much that you got going on, buddy. So maybe we could do like something like that. That's really cute, Bo. You know what? I love this for Bo. I think that's very sweet. I like the curls. And we'll give him a fun sweater. Let's change up the bottoms again. You know what? I like the orange. I think that's fun. So this is Bo's new fit. I kind of randomized it. So good job, Bo. Oh, some kids at school were being mean to one of my friends. I wanted to help, but I didn't know what to do. Why don't you sit and stand up for your friend? Okay, Madeline? Oh, she's very happy that she got that advice. Good. I'm very happy that you're happy. Okay, Elsie. Whoa, why is this plate floating? Okay, no, you got it. You got it, girl. Okay, Cecilia's like watching TV, texting people, like hanging out. Belle is, oh, okay, Belle. Why are you slapping around Blarfy? What did Barbie do to you, Belle? Go take a nap. You know what? Actually, I know you haven't had any fun. Watch the current channel, okay? Oh my goodness. Everybody's all over the place. I might have to extend the house again. It already feels like it's too small. I was thinking about maybe making a basement mix. Look at you doing such a good job on your iPad. Elsie just needs some attention. All right, Chelsea, why don't you give Elsie some attention? Why don't we do some fun little activities? We will do some flashcards and teach you basic needs, okay? Let's have some fun. How are all my kids doing? Your skills are not skilling right now. Oh, Cecilia and Madeline have a difficult family dynamic. When it comes to authority, some younger Sims do just not know how to respect their elders. And it's certainly looking that way between Cecilia and Madeline. Cecilia, you have always been like a little difficult. Madeline's so much younger than you too. Like go calm down. Stop being mean to Madeline. Girl needed a reality check. Davis saying, hey, we're coming over to see the little one and can help however we can. What little one? What? Wait, Dave is a stay over guest. Where do you think you're staying, Dave? On the couch? All right, Dave is over and he's decided he's gonna help and Bo likes fitness. Good for you, Bo. Bo, go use the toilet, okay? Well, apparently Dave is over. I don't know if he'll actually help, but good for you, Dave. And Madeline's homework is complete. Good job, Madeline. And Chloe's doing well. Bo, how about you? He needs to get up a skill to level two. What's his skill? A logic skill. Okay, interesting choice. Okay, you need sleep and you wanna do well in school. So why don't you do your homework so you can just age up tomorrow? Gonna grab some food maybe, Madeline? Could be good. Ellie is tired. So Ellie, why don't you go to bed? Elsie, it looks like she's gonna play in the trash can. You know what? You do you. Rosalie's got two good high level skills. That's fantastic. Chelsea, why don't you help Madeline try to potty? Or which one is this? Rosalie. You're just on my computer, Dave. I thought you were gonna help around the house. You could be helping Belle with her homework, but no. Bo's going to bed. Belle's doing her homework. And then she's gonna go to bed. Chloe reached mental skill level four. Good job, Chloe. She's all ready for school tomorrow. Glad that everyone got their homeworks completed. Belle, why don't you go to sleep, sweetheart? So we just have Chloe still up. Chloe needs to use the toilet. Maybe eat some taquitos. Elsie, why don't you? You go to bed, sweetie. And Rosalie, you might need to go to bed soon too. Actually, why don't you all go to bed? All my Todds need to go to bed. Thank you. And I just cannot believe Dave is still in this house. Just, what are you doing here, Dave? Chelsea went to sleep with her daughter, who is the grumpiest gill. I'm like, Cecilia, you're breaking my heart. All right, everyone's in bed, except for flipping Dave. Oh, who woke up? Elsie's got a nightmare. Elsie, since you're up, like, why don't you go potty a couple times? You know, get that that skill up. Potty's the only thing you have left until you can age up. Elsie, isn't that exciting? You know what is also a nightmare? This toilet. Maybe she had a nightmare literally about how disgusting and scary this toilet is looking right now. This toilet looks like it came out of a Resident Evil game. It is absolutely terrible looking. Oh my God, this poor toilet. Okay, Cecilia is in a better mood. Cecilia, why don't we age you up now? I'm not gonna kick you out, but I might because you seem to not really enjoy being a part of this family which I don't blame you. You were the first of a very tumultuous time in the Apichishme family. I really don't blame you for having resentments. She's materialistic, an art lover, a dog lover, and pick a number one through 15, six, okay. Pick a number one through two, two. So she wants to be a mixologist. Oh, gorgeous. And she graduated with honors. Good job, Cecilia. Oh, I'm so proud. Oh, why don't you go grab a serving of some nice chicken? Why 
Why is everybody constantly want the cookies? I mean, I know they are cookies, but come on. Elsie's good. She's feeling energized. She's feeling ready for the day. Why don't you go wrestle with your sister? That's pretty funny. What a little spitfire. Elsie wants to wrestle with Cecilia. Oh, these two wrestling, wrestling girls. Madeline is up. She needs a shower. Why don't you take a speedy little shower real quick? Oh, she's checking on Elsie. Elsie, I think, needs put back to bed, honestly. Why don't we get a bedtime story from Chelsea? It's like looking in a mirror. These two are so similar looking. Why are you acting like this, Dave? Okay, nobody asked you to be here. Why don't you watch TV with your sister here? Oh, we can read a book to Madeline. That's a good idea. Let's open up here. Pick out a book. Lord of the Swings. Let's read to Madeline. She needs to understand what happens when you put a lot of children in a house by their own. You know, similar to what happened with us, but so, so much worse. Yes, we finished it! Oh my goodness, first milestone completed. We have 1,800 points. So what does that get us? Nothing yet. Oh no, don't tell me it's winter fest and none of my kids are going to school today. Have a child get married? Are you kidding me? Cecilia, I need you to get married. <laughs> Oh, we want to change Ellie's diaper. We can so change Ellie's diaper. What other things do we want to do? Become focused. And you want to have a child. Well, perfect. We're going to keep that one. Oh, Bo is saying, I texted someone, but they didn't text me back. It's been like an hour. Should I text them again? Honestly, sometimes I feel this way still. Wait for them to respond. All the kids love Winterfest. I don't want to not have Winterfest since I have a bunch of kids. It would probably mean a lot to them if we celebrated, but I don't know where to put a tree in this tiny, tiny house unless I extend the house a bit. We do have money, but the house looks so nice as it is. I just don't want to mess with it. It looks so good from the exterior. You know what? Let's put up decoration. We just won't have a Christmas tree. Some people don't have Christmas trees and that's okay. But we will get the decor box again. I think I deleted it last time. And I will buy them presents. They'll be in Chelsea's room for now. And we'll decorate for Christmas because Chelsea loves to decorate. Look at those. Those are beautiful, Chelsea. I really like those decorations. Perfect. Let's have everybody add little presents to the pile here. Oh, she wants to make an enemy. Oh, I forgot that Belle is mean. I'm gonna make everybody have the best Christmas ever to make up for their crappy childhoods. <laughs> All right, Chelsea, go back to sleep. Seems like you need a nap. You're baking those children. We got some Todd's waking up. They're all adding presents to the present pile, which is fantastic. Oh my goodness. Why don't you grab a little serving of some food? And then we're gonna watch the fireplace channel, make it nice and cozy in here. Why are you so mad, bro? She wants to go outside. I'm sorry, Belle. We're all watching the TV. Chloe's doing her homework. Good job, Chloe. Extra credit on your own. Chloe's my new favorite child. Elsie's not doing so good. She's hungry. Okay, why don't you grab a serving, sweetheart? Oh, Ellie needs a bath. Bo, why don't you give a bubble bath to Ellie? This is where the teens come in. But we need to start having more babies. I'm hoping for triplets, honestly. I know I hate to say it, but I want triplets. I need more kids. We need to hustle. It's a speed run. Oh my gosh, it's water shutoff day on a holiday? Y'all are monsters. Oh my gosh, Cecilia could join a career. Cecilia could have a job and then bring in money. A, but B, Cecilia could meet someone at work and then get married. Okay, I love this. She wanted to be a bartender, so let's have her go into the culinary. Yeah, 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 mixologist. All right, she's going into work. Hooray. Are you sneaking presents? Madeline. Oh, her sister caught her. She's like, do not sneak in bad presents, Madeline. Everybody wants to have a good Christmas. It is 10 a.m. Why did I think it was Winterfest and it was super late? What's that about? Anyway, let's focus, I suppose, on aging up our toddlers since we're just chilling with them. You need to level up communication, movement, and thinking so you can babble. Elsie is level three's on two, just needs to finish out potty. So why don't you actually just keep going potty until you finish that out, Elsie? And then Ellie is needing to worry about thinking. Oh my gosh, you were so close to thinking last time. So why don't you have some fun there? I love that all the kids are hanging out in mom's room and mom is not a awake. Mom is just asleep, cooking up some babies. When are you having these babies? She's only second trimester? What the heck? Seriously? This episode is chill. Two 
too chill. Oh, Ellie reached Pinky level two. Good job, Ellie. You just need potty now. Your sister's working on potty, so I guess you need to wait until Elsie's done with her potty excursion. And then the twins can be aged up at the same time. Oh my gosh, these kids are going up so fast. Our little singer, Rosalie, why don't you sing a little song? Chelsea's finally up and at them. Oh, Rosalie reached level three of the communication skill. She can now talk. Chelsea and her mini me are having a really good pee time together. Oh, uh oh, it's mom time. We need to tell her no. Parenting, discipline, we're gonna calmly ask her not to make a mess. Ma'am, Ellie, don't make a mess, but we can have everybody open presents together. All right, so it's present opening time, kids. Everybody get inside. It's time to open presents. Everybody's needs are decent enough. It's an Impeachishmay family Christmas with Dave the Grump over here. You know what, Dave the Grump? I don't care about your crap. Oh, okay, Elsie reached potty level three. Good job, Elsie! Elsie, Elsie, Elsie. All right, why don't you start with a present? We'll have oldest to youngest. I'll just go individually. Okay, Cecilia got a prank. She got coal. <laughs> Cecilia, maybe it's because you're kind of a Grinch sometimes. And Elsie got a train set. Good job, Elsie. All right, Belle's opening her present. What is she gonna be? It is Baconite. Oh. Okay, good job. Chloe, why don't you open your present next? Chloe's opening her, no, Chloe is going to replace with a prank gift. Chloe, uh, just like your sister who was told not to do that. Madeline's like, stop it, Chloe, I did that. And of course, then Bo got the prank gift. He's like, are you kidding me? Yeah, he got poop, a large pet poop. Oh my goodness, Chloe, don't get poop to other Sims. That's rude. Oh, and Chloe got a Mr. Floppy the gnome. Good job, Chloe. Open a present. Ooh, a violin. Very nice. All right, kids, keep opening your gifts. Ooh, a penguin television set. We can maybe put that in one of the kids' rooms. Ooh, and we got a second penguin television set. Wow, the two toddlers really got good gifts this year. And looks like Madeline's already using the violin. And Chelsea got like a rock. I got a rock. <laughs> I got a rock. <gasps> and Belle's grades are up. We didn't even go to school. Belle, how did you do that? She's like, ah ha ha. Look at this playful look. She's like, I got an A, so I don't need to go to school anymore. Well, that's fine, girl. If you want to age up, we can age you up right now. We got our next adults, two teens down. I feel like I hardly got to get to know them. She's mean and she's a geek. Pick a number one through 15. 14, okay. And pick a number one through three. Three, okay. So she wants to be a Zen guru. So she may be mean, but she loves yoga. Maybe that's how she like kind of combats her mean streak is like she tries to find her inner peace. Back to aging up my children. Your potty skill is too low, but Elsie's ready to go. Met, so we need Ellie to join the club here. Why don't you go potty? And Rosalie, you need more movement. Why don't you work on block stacking? Just use the toilet until you can't use it anymore, Ellie. Everyone's stressed because of this new violin that Madeline has. Everyone's like, can you stop, Madeline? I need space. All my kids seem to have bad hygiene right now for some reason, but there's too many kids in the bathroom. Oh my God, water conservation. Nobody can take a shower. I forgot about that. No wonder everyone's feeling filthy. Oh God, I just need this to stop. I need it to stop. Stop playing your violin, okay? I know you're enjoying it, but I think you need to quit. Oh, supportive. Chelsea and Chloe have a supportive family dynamic. Some older Sims have a knack for providing reassurance and emotional support for their younger family members. The older Sim can serve as a good role model, sharing their many life experience to help guide the younger Sims through life. Oh, Chelsea, I always knew you could do it. Chloe, why don't you play make-believe in there? Ellie is miserable over here pottying, but you know, we're getting it done. So that's what matters. Rosalie, oh, you're grumpy. Okay, why don't you go to bed then? Go to bed, Rosalie. Oh my God, Santa's here! Santa's here, quickly, Chelsea, wake up and seduce him. Flirty introduction. I know the kids wanna meet him, but honestly, I need a new baby parent and you arrived at my house and I didn't have to leave. So honestly, you get most convenient baby parent award. Keep seducing him. She's flirting with Santa. It is an amorous exchange. He is devastated. You know what, Dave? We never asked you to come over. So it is what it 
is. Okay, we're feeling really flirty. We can tease him flirtatiously, look deeply into his eyes and whisper sweet nothings. First kiss! They're exchanging numbers just because we know he's a busy man. All the kids are waiting on their turn to use the bathroom. Oh no! Don't pee yourself, Belle, while I'm kissing Santa. Get out of the room! Yeah, she really just saw her mom kiss Santa. Belle, why don't you, really quick, you need to use the toilet, go use it. Do not pee yourself in front of mom. Oh, we can woohoo with Santa. All right, go woohoo with Santa really fast. And then you can pee after, okay? Okay, I hear the beautiful music of lovemaking. Dave is sleeping on the couch. We have no romance left anymore with Dave. You know what? As it should be. She's really mad. She's a festering bitterness against someone. Is it Chelsea? Yeah, she's a festering grudge against Chelsea. But she also considers her mommy dearest. This is weird. Okay. Well, she resents Chelsea probably from witnessing her seduce Santa, who I think is gonna be disappearing right now. There he goes. He's like, I've done my duty. And Chelsea, I'm pretty sure peed herself just then. Yeah, she definitely peed herself under the bed. And she's looking absolutely devastated. <laughs> I'm sorry, Chelsea. You needed to lock it down. You're giving birth soon. Go take a shower. Okay, Belle, why don't you go to sleep in mom's bed? Just ignore the pee underneath it, okay? That was an accident, obviously. And all my kids are asleep at midnight, which is pretty impressive for the Sims. I'm not gonna lie. I'm impressed with myself. Okay, let's see. Chelsea's Winterfest was successful. Cecilia's was. Madeline's is over. Chloe's is over. Belle and Bo's was successful. Rosalie was successful. Ellie's is over. And Elsie's is successful. That's pretty good. For having that many kids in the house, I want to say bravo to me. Okay? I did it. What is that? Power sip llama berry. It's like glowing and sparkling. I want to take it. I'm going to steal it from him and see what it does. That's my drink now. What's the drink? What's it do? Power sip. Llama berry. Let's see. Llama berry blast from the absolute privilege of enjoying a refreshing power sip. Cecilia's taste bud are torn between celebrating and wanting to call the police. Everything she thought she knew was wrong. It's delicious yet terrifying sweet but sinister. And all she could think about is drinking more. Wow, I've never seen this before, but I am delighted for her. All right, Cecilia, what else do you need to do? Oh, she needs to get a level two mixology skill. Unfortunately, I don't see me investing in a bar at the moment. She's feeling so playful. Let's just let everybody sleep, except for Cecilia, who's taking out the trash. Why don't you take down the decorations, Cecilia? Oh, her little sister's come. Elsie, what do you need? Ooh, she needs to use the toilet. Good job, queen. She does need to be aged up, so that's something we could do. Let's have you get aged up by Cecilia. Cecilia's already up, and we'll help blow out candles for Elsie, which is Chelsea's mini-me. All right, Elsie, here you go. Ooh, she was wild, and now she is, oh, a kleptomaniac. Some of my favorite children have been kleptomaniacs. And pick a number between one and five. Two, okay, she's a whiz kid. She's very smart and wants to steal your art and your heart. Elsie's looking so cute. We do need Ellie to maybe age up soon. She's already level three on three things, including potty. She did it without me noticing. <gasps> Ellie, it's time for you to age up too. Let's get some candles help from Cecilia. All right, here we go. We're only gonna have one toddler after this episode. This is crazy to me. It's all good. We needed a bit of a break. Oh, Ellie, happy birthday. Ellie is a loner. She was clingy before, but now she's like, you know what? I don't like people. <laughs> Pick a number one through five. Five, great. She wants to be a multi-skill sim. Pick a number one through four. Three, so she wants to be a slumber party animal. Cutie patootie. Oh my gosh, and all my sims are going to school in a minute. So that's great. We can just hang out with like the younger girls who just aged up, Elsie and Ellie. We've got Rosalie who just aged up, needs a bath. Chelsea, come take care of your daughter. Okay, send alone. Everybody go alone to school, please. Everybody listen to the teacher. Okay, so all the kids are at school that can go to school. We are getting a bath from mom finally, which is good. Oh, and Elsie and Cecilia are jokesters. Cute. Cecilia can make jokes with Elsie. That's really sweet. I love that. Rosalie, what skills are you needing? Communication, you also need potty. So mom, will you teach me to potty, please? I would love to learn. Fabulous, we are learning potty. And Rosalie got fined. It's always the toddlers. I literally forgot that Dave was still here. Dave, I don't think you need to be here. Where are you, Dave? He's not here, his just stuff's here. Cool. Oh, it's the principal's visit today. The principal is visiting Madeline's class. Everyone is to be on their best behavior and not interrupt lesson. Unfortunately, the kid sitting behind Madeline has decided to pelt her with something. 
gross. Should she ignore it or ask the kid to stop? I think you should ignore it, sweetheart. And Madeline keeps her eyes dutifully trained on the board, hoping the kids will stop. Instead, the kid fires the ball of paper so hard it rolls up to the teacher's feet, and for once, somebody else gets in trouble. Good job, Madeline. And Chelsea just taught our sweet baby angel, Rosalie, the youngest child, how to potty, so that's good. Why don't you grab some servings of food? food here. Rosalie. Chelsea, why don't you keep working on your novel that we never finish? Mind over muscle. The one that I couldn't write. No wonder it's taking her so long. She's like, I'm just not inspired. I don't want to write a workout novel. I don't blame her. Chelsea, when are you going to have these babies, by the way? She's like, I'm going to burst. Chelsea's gone into labor while she's on the toilet. You know what? Good for you, girl. All right, Chelsea, we are going to go have our babies at the hospital and we are going to join her. We're going to join her alone. But that means when we get back home, we can get pregnant again with Chloe. Frost. All right, we're checking in at the front desk. I know you're in pain, Chelsea. I am here. I'm a patient. Let's do it. She already knows where the room is. She doesn't need directions. Okay, I'm hoping for triplets, but I think it's gonna be twins. It's a boy! Let me check what you guys have recommended in terms of baby names. Okay, this is fantastic. I'm seeing baby names Barbie and Ken. I am so excited for the Kenaissance and the Barbie movie. So Ken and Peach Schmay, welcome to the family. And hopefully we have a Barbie. It's a boy. Ooh, Carson. K-A-R-S-O-N. I love that Ken and Carson kind of sounds good together too. Oh, only twins? Welcome Ken and Carson to the family. I don't know if they are wolves or not, but I guess we'll find out when we go home. Which means we have hit officially 10 babies. Let's go. We are crushing this challenge, absolutely floored, but guess who we should haul over? It's none other than Lil Saint Nick. Okay, come on over, Clement Frost. Why don't you come down my chimney tonight? And oh my God, I think they're both werewolves. Well, I'm not excited about this. Super efficient baby care for this baby. And then we've got our sweet new husband. And of course, Ellie has picked up the violin. One of the kids is always going to. Bo, I need you to get out of the room. All right, leave the room. Go now. Bo, go now. I'm only thinking of you. Okay, thank goodness. All right, there we go. I just saved Bo. Hopefully getting baby number 11 and 12 in the belly at the moment. Moment. And sweet Rosalie singing her little songs. She's just such a little angel singing her song. Okay, sweet Rosalie, will you get someone to teach you potty? Maybe Belle, since she's just standing over there. And Dave Grossman, I just need you to leave. Oh my God, Dave Grossman walked in on us having woohoo with Santa. Didn't bat an eye. Dave, I think you need to go. Please leave. Okay, so Sims that are pregnant can age up, which means I think she is officially pregnant with our next baby. Oh my goodness. But well, we've reached 2,600 available points, which means we can officially unlock the steel bladder, which I know all of you guys have been wanting. I personally would rather wait until fertile, but I'm kind of also tired of her peeing herself. And I know you guys really want this for her, so I'm gonna just do it. Don't say I never did anything you didn't love, okay? We're getting that steel bladder for you. And with that, we're gonna tell Clement Frost the big news that he's gonna be a daddy. And now this has accidentally become a hybrid of the 100 baby challenge and the occult baby challenge, considering I now have some occult characters in Santa and the twins. So excited to meet Ken and Carson in the next episode and find out if they truly are werewolves. My guess is that they are, given the bassinets they were born into. Having werewolves in the house is gonna be a new level of chaos. I can't wait to explore that with you guys in the next one. Keep leaving your baby names in the comments. Make sure to upload your baby parents into the gallery of The Sims using hashtag Kelsey100infant. And until next time, I'll see you around the internet very soon. Bye!